Hey, Comic Impact. February 18th. Last week was the 11th. We had it seven, we got 18. Guess what I'm excited about? There's a lot of eights. There's a book called Eights over at Dark Horse Comics. Drawn, written by Rafael Albuquerque. You might know him from American Vampires. This is me starting to read more little indie books and not reading the mainstream stuff. I'm sure the other guys have some big mainstream books that they want to talk to you about. So go check out Eight from Dark Horse and let's see what Sebastian or Travis or Sheldon, I don't know who's next. Thanks guys. This week, I'm here to tell you about my pick. And of course, I'm picking Powerpuff Girls Super Smash Up number two. Now, of course, this mini series is not only being selected because I missed the first issue, so I'm covering, and also because it's really, really good. And of course, the Powerpuff Girls were the victors of the super secret crisis war that IDW had between all of Cartoon Network's properties. The series is absolutely just, just amazing fun. Go check it out. It's great for kids, great for adults, and if you want to get a, get some nostalgia, then uh, go and pick up this book. Heck, any of those books if you can find them. They're just, you know, Kids Next Door, Johnny Bravo, Samurai Jack, uh, Courage the Cowardly Dog, Powerpuff. It's just all really, really great fun stuff. Dexter's Lab, another one of my favorites. Just check them out. They're great. And with this, check out this series. The Powerpuff Girls books have been fun since IDW has been doing them, and they've just been absolutely great. So it's good to step back into that world and just get a little bit of, just get a little bit of something good. All right, I'm going to hand it off to the next person. Hey, everybody. So I'm going to tell you all what I'm excited for. Uh, it's actually simple, really. She-Hulk is ending. Charles Soul, Javier Polito. It's been an amazing run. And now we finally get to learn the secret of the blue file. And I'm sad to see this book go. But it's amazing. And you should be reading it. Also, Charles Soul is doing a blog where he's talking about it right now on like a charlesoul.wordpress.com or something where he's going over every issue, which should be finished when this issue comes out. He should be have a blog about the final issue as well. So you should also go check out that because this has been an amazing series and you should cry yourself to sleep for not supporting it. On to the next Thanks. person. Thanks. Hey, Comic Impact. Sheldon here with the book that I'm excited about, and that is Drawn. That is colored. That is written by. That is cut down in a tree and then inked and then pressed in a special sort of old school pressing way uh, by Mr. Eric Larson, and that is Savage Dragon number 202 uh, from Image Comics. And uh, it's the further adventures of uh, Malcolm. Uh, and if you've been reading Savage Dragon, you know who that is. And I've been reading Savage Dragon. Uh, it is one of the best comics in comicdom. And uh, if you haven't been picking it up, pick it up. Uh, go back, start reading at 193. That's a great jumping on point. Excuse me. That's when uh, Savage Dragon's son, Malcolm, takes over. And uh, great stuff. Uh, I mentioned in 202, though, because Malcolm no longer has the ability to use his uh, hand powers, his uh, shocking ability. Um, so uh, he's, he's on his own. He's just got his brawn and his brain. And how will he use them? Let's find out. Uh, that's it for this week. Uh, continue to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, all the good stuff. Um, and we'll see you next week. As always, thanks for watching Comic Impact. Uh, we love you.